good morning students i hope you all are well and healthy so let's start the chapter number 4 word processor tablet presentation this chapter consists five topics first microsoft word second table third creating a table fourth editing a table fifth formatting a table first is microsoft word it is a full featured word processing program it allow user to create and manipulate documents containing mostly text and sometimes graphics graphic means pictures slide the major advantages of using ms word is that user can easily change what they have written that means editing the various features of word such as borders shading tables graphics pictures and web addresses can be included in the document now some features of ms word the first is auto correct this feature corrects common spelling errors i again repeat this feature corrects common spelling error for example a d n changes it to and by mistake if written a d n then changes it to and second auto format this features automatically applies formatting to our text for example it automatically convert web address to a hyperlink the ordinal second is created when we type this tables tables are a way of organizing information into rows and columns fourth tracking changes and comments if multiple users work with the document we can instruct the word processing software to highlight or color code the changes made by various users we can also add comments to a document without changing the text itself mail merge it creates personalized letter mailing labels and invites for each person on our mailing list at once macro a macro saves our time by combining a series of actions into a single command so these are six main features included in ms word that is a microsoft word so please keep difference between auto correct and auto format auto correct means spelling error and auto format means formatting second topic is table in ms word tables are the most powerful and useful tool they are extremely flexible that means we can increase rows and columns and easy to create and manipulate means changes the area way of sorry they are a way of organizing information into horizontal row and vertical column number 4 cell refers to the intersection of a row and a column in a table tables are useful for various tasks such as presenting textual and numeric data textual means like alphabetical order alphabetical things like name anything and numeric means any numbers so tables are useful for various tasks such as presenting textual and numeric data so first is tables are most powerful and useful to second extremely flexible that means we can change the size of a table and easy to create and manipulate that means we can easily perform changes next they are a way of organizing information into horizontal row and vertical column and cell refers to an intersection of row and column and last tables are useful for various tasks such as presenting textual and numeric data third topic is creating a table we can create a table and type data in it the table option is useful formatting tool which allow us to easily insert rows and columns 
Now there are three methods to insert a table in MS Word document. First simple insert table, second insert quick table, third draw a table. I again repeat first simply insert table, second insert quick table and third draw a table. These are three methods to insert a table in MS Word document. But the topic is creating a table. So creating a table, third topic include five topics, five subtopics. So first is insert table, second insert quick table, third draw a table, fourth entering text in table and fifth deleting a table. These five subtopics included in a topic that is creating a table. But the first three topics means these three are method to insert a table in MS Word document. So let's start with the first topic that is insert table. So firstly we will open the MS Word. So for that click on start button, click on all programs. After that click on Microsoft Office and click on Microsoft Office Word. Now this is a MS Word window. So first step is click in the document where you want to insert the table. So I click here. That means uh, press the left button of the mouse. Then click on insert tab. This is an insert tab. Click on it. Third step click on table button. This one. Click on table. Drag the mouse pointer until you highlight the number of rows and columns you want the table to contain. The word preview the table as you drag over the cells. After selecting, selecting the number of rows and columns, Click the left button of your mouse. Now see this is your table that you have already selected. Here two rows. Rows means horizontal. That means row number 1 and row number 2. And these are columns. Column 1, column 2 and column 3. Columns vertically and rows horizontally. This is the first method to insert a table with the help of insert tab. Next is insert quick table. So rest of the chapter we will cover in our next video. Thank you.